In this video, I'm going to show you how I transformed this old desk. It was sitting in a garage, and before that, it had been sitting in a barn, to this beautiful treasure. This desk was my client's father's when he was a teenager. It's seen better days. It had spider eggs, spiders, mouse poop, cobwebs. The drawers were broken. It was dirty and dusty and just plain old nasty. When I saw the picture of the outside, I didn't think it was that bad until I got it home and I took it apart and the drawers are falling apart in our hands and I looked at it. I had to put gloves on because I did not want to touch it. This was definitely a bigger project than what I first thought. Things are not always what they seem. Sometimes you can look at something and think it's gonna be easy or it's not that bad until you get on the inside. It's just like a person. There's always value when you put some hard work and you get to it. So we had to get to the nitty gritty, the first things first. I brought out my vacuum and I tried to vacuum out all of the inside nastiness. The stuff that couldn't be seen on the outside. Just like a desk or furniture, we have to get cleaned on the inside before we can be good on the outside. So I vacuumed up all of the cobwebs, all of the mouse poop, all of the spiders, and then it needed a really good cleaning. Some of those spider eggs were really difficult to get off and the cobwebs, so I first grabbed some Clorox wipes and removed all of the filthiness and the eggs and a little bit of mouse poop that didn't want to get vacuumed up. Then it was time to go ahead and fix the drawers. I used Type Bond glue and I went ahead and I glued all of the seams and put them all together and then clamped them and left them overnight to cure. I made sure to get in all of the grooves because I did not want this drawer to come apart. Type Bond is an amazing glue and it works very, very well. I removed all of the hardware to give it a good cleaning. I put it in a stainless steel bowl and I soaked it with blue Dawn and baking soda. Normally I would have put vinegar, but I was all out and it seemed to do the trick. I just let that sit overnight. Then I had to strip the top of the desk. It wasn't in terrible condition, but the varnish was old and it needed to come up because she wanted a wood finish on the top so I used this stripper I tested out a small piece first and it worked I just needed to apply it a little bit thicker and so I just poured it on and then I used a chip brush to make it all smooth and let I let it sit for about an hour Then with gloves and a putty knife, I went ahead and I scraped up the varnish. I would love it if you would like this video. Comment below if you've ever stripped a piece of furniture and if you've had trouble. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tutorials. Thank you for your support. The products that I use here, except for the stripper, can be found on my website. LisaBoonDesigns.com I went ahead and I took my orbital sander and tried to get a little bit more of the stain off of this desk. It was cherry. I knew it was going to bleed, but I wanted to see what I could get off. And I really got an amazing smooth finish on that top of the wood after I sanded it down a couple of times and then I used a 220 to make it really, really smooth.
I did multiple cleanings on this desk. I did use crud cutter. I used um, vinegar and water. I did have some in a spray bottle. I like to use that because it disinfects and I especially use that inside the drawers that had the mouse poop in it. And after I cleaned it, I was pleasantly surprised. It cleaned up very, very well. On pieces that are especially dirty, I do multiple cleanings because it had been sitting for seven years in storage. I like to use these Brillo pads to really scrub. It had a lot of dirt dauber. It's um, pretty nasty. It's just mud all over. And once I got that all off, we could then get to painting. You always want to make sure you get all of those crevices and so I really scrubbed and I took the corner and the edges of that Brillo pad and I got in there really good. My final wipe down is always with a microfiber cloth and when I do it I look at the cloth and that tells me if it's clean, if it's going to be a bleeder and what my next step should be. So because it's cherry wood I knew it would bleed and so that would require priming since we are going to be painting this white. As you can see I wasn't kidding this thing was dirty filthy and so it took a lot of cleaning but you're only as good as your clean product. You, so if you want a durable finish and you want the paint to last you have to make sure that it's clean. After many fiber cloths, I was finally ready to paint. The original plan for the top was to use dark and decrepit. It's my preferred stain. And instead of doing that, once we realized how red the wood was, I wasn't sure what the actual finish would turn out to be like. I have done cherry finishes before but I couldn't guarantee what it would look like so she decided that she kind of liked it this way so we tested it and I put big top on there just one coat at first and I let her look at it and she loved it so I sealed it and that helped me to go ahead and make sure that I wouldn't get any paint on it I used a brush that was moistened it's my preferred way of using Big Top. You don't want to overbrush it. You just want to go one stroke at a time, let it dry, and then apply your other coats. To prime this desk, I used shellac. And I also used the newest DIY paintbrush. It was actually really awesome for priming. I really enjoyed using this brush for this technique. From experience, I know that bleeders are going to bleed, so you really want to seal that in. And I did apply two coats, and I even put some on the inside of the drawers as well. Shellac dries fast, and this is what it looks like once it's all sealed. Big difference, huh? Here's Ginger. I can't paint without her being right under my feet. My client wanted a distressed look and she wanted the first layer to have black. So she wanted the outside to be white and to distress into black. She didn't want black wax. She didn't want it to look grungy. So I used DIY Paints Little Black Dress. It's our blackest black and I only applied it to the edges because that's where you would naturally have worn edges and distressing. And then I went ahead and I sealed it with shellac. And I sealed it because DIY paint is water based and it's activated by water or paint and I didn't want to have gray, I didn't want it to blend. So I sealed it because it's so contrasted black and white. and it only takes about 10 minutes to dry and so this is what it looked like once I had applied the shellac and you can see how vibrant and rich the black is once it's sealed then 
I went ahead and I applied vintage linen. This is one of my favorite whites and it looks so good and I'm able to get a good coverage with it even though we have black underneath. Here's the finished piece. I applied three coats of Big Top to the top of the desk. I applied two coats of vintage linen to the body of the desk and then I used baby wipes to distress it. I used a sanding sponge and I sanded down the entire desk smooth on the body and I spray painted the hardware with Rust-Oleum matte black and then I finished the entire piece on the body with DIY Paints Clear Wax. It gives it a nice durable finish and then I buffed it the next day. Now what a transformation. It looks amazing, it's beautiful, and it works so well in my client's home. This desk was a treasure to her because it was her dad's and now it has a new life and it could be passed down to her daughters. For DIY paint, please visit lisaboondesigns.com.